Hi there. Hey, I just want to share with you today a review of a very useful item that I picked up on Amazon here recently. And it is a sump pump. It's useful in every home, even if you don't have a sump basin. And I'll tell you why, because this will transfer water in, uh, out of your sump, or it will transfer water in the case of a flood like that in Florida. You could take a whole basement and, and uh, get all the water out in just a very short time. This is a particularly nice one because it's not only just a regular sump pump, it's an affluent pump and a sewage pump, and they even mark it on there. And what distinguishes that from the regular sump pump is these, these tall uh, pedestal that it sits on. And this allows affluence up to two inches of uh, a piece of uh, organic matter to go through here and be taken in right here into an impeller that will suck it up and then blow it right out here of a two inch discharge. Um, it will take out, like I say, in a pond, leaves and so forth, or sewage if you have a sewage well, or you can use it just uh, as a regular sump pump or for clear water to clear a basement. Now, it does not come with the plumbing, so you have to put, uh, get your own plumbing. And uh, they do that, of course, because they don't know what everybody's needs are going to be. And it's very easy to do. You just get a two inch uh, male end and put in there and add on as you need. Now, there are two ways to operate it. One is manually and the other is automatic. Now, this is the manual operation. And what you do is simply plug it in just like this. Now this is switched and I'm going to turn it on and you watch over here and you can see I'm laying this piece of cloth here just so you can see it move like that to show you that it is working. Now for automatic operation it works with this float switch. So when the, uh, the float switch gets up about this high, it triggers the on switch and works it. And then when the water goes back down, this comes down and shuts it off. Let me show you how that works. And that is, we take, it's a piggyback switch. So I take this and plug it in here, and now it becomes automatic. And I'll plug it in, just like this. And then when I lift this up, I gotta turn it on, there we go. This comes on and I turn it, I put it down and it shuts off. Now watch. And there it is, automatic. So it works when you submerse it. The whole thing is entirely submersible. But let me show you how this works in an actual situation uh, out in the water. And I'll be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm back. And I've got this all set up. And down here is that little coupler I was talking about. It's just a male thread goes in right here. You can add any length of discharge tube you want to it. And this I followed over. If you follow it over here, you'll see I've got it tied up here in the dock. So it'll discharge. That's just for you to see. Now, this is on automatic setting. And you can hear it come on. So when I lower this, when it gets to a depth, where this float comes up to about here, it will kick on and water should start coming out there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And remember when you do this, it should be on a GFI circuit. All right, uh, let me lower this. Okay, here we go. And we go. Look at that. And it's taking up a little mud and so forth, which shows you it will take up debris as well. That's putting out quite a bit. You can see that, as I say, 107 gallons per minute. Okay, I'm going to bring it back up. And when the flood goes down, it stops. And there we are. Now, you'll have a more of a permanent fixture when you uh, put it in your home or in your pool, but that's just to show you how it works. 
I'm going to give this two thumbs up. I think this is a very high quality product for the price. Now I'm going to turn this on. I have got it without the long discharge hose just to show you how powerful this is. I've got it submerged. Look at that. That is really shooting out a lot of water. Now, this has a max head, meaning it will lift water up to 29 feet. That's impressive. And doing it this way at the boat dock here is a way for you in the winter to aim that discharge at the pilings and keep ice from building up on it and protect your dock. Listen, I think this is a great pump and I thank you for watching my video.